the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is to take that audio file that we just made through Audacity and place it into your PowerPoint. So again, how I got my audio file in here, I clicked insert audio, audio type from file, and then I imported this in. Now, in order to get it to play, because I want your presentations to not have to stand up here and click and point all the way through. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the animations thing and make sure that your little sound icon is highlighted. And you're going to click on this drag down box. Now what we're going to do is you want your audio file to play as long as your PowerPoint presentation is. So if you can look here, you can see my PowerPoint mini presentation that I made for you is seven slides. And I would like my audio to continue through all of those slides. So I'm going to click from the beginning. And I want to stop playing, not after the current slide, because then it's only going to do the one part of my audio and it's going to stop. So I want to go on after seven slides. And then I'm going to click OK. Now the timing, I want it to go from with previous. So that's going to start it right when my uh, PowerPoint is going to start off. Now sometimes I don't like seeing that really ugly audio because it kind of takes away from what I want you to do. So you can click on hide audio icon again. So you're going to go from the beginning after however many slides that you have. Timing, you're going to start with previous and then auto settings, you can hide this. So now when I go to start my presentation, on my first click, Romanor, the bat has as many wings as a bee. El Murcielago tiene tantas alas. Now you can see here that, whoa, wait a minute, my audio is not matching up with my slides, which can be a problem. And if you do this the old-fashioned way, you can spend 45 minutes trying to outline each one of your sentences to go to each one, with your each one of your slides. However, if you go to rehearse timings, this will allow you to click through your presentation at the rate that you're speaking. So, for example, I'm going to click animales por señora menor. I'm going to click. has as many wings as a bee. I'm going to click again. El murciélago tiene tantas alas como la abeja. The chick is bigger than the ant. El pollito es más grande que la hormiga. The lion is as big as the wolf. El león es tan grande como el... Okay, so you can see here the beginning of my PowerPoint didn't really line up so great with what I was doing, right? So... I'm just going to go back through. I'm going to control Z. I'm just going to do it again. So now I know that I have two things here and I was speaking kind of fast. So we're going to rehearse timings again. Los animales por señora menor. The bat has as many wings as a bee. El murciélago tiene tantas alas como la abeja. The chick is bigger than the ant. El pollito es más grande que la hormiga. The lion is as big as the wolf. El león es tan grande como el lobo. And then I'm going to click yes. So now when I go to save my PowerPoint, from the beginning, Los animales por señora I'm not clicking anything through. The bat through. has as many wings as a bee. El murciélago tiene tantas alas como la abeja. The chick is bigger than the ant. El pollito es más grande que la hormiga. The lion is as big as the wolf. El león es tan grande como el lobo. Okay, so you guys get the idea. So I didn't click through anything on that second presentation to get my PowerPoint with my audio to line up with all of my slides. Best of luck with your presentations.